Hey guys, what up? Mike here with Laker Talk. Happy New Year to all you Laker fans out there. I want to recap that Lakers and Philly game to share my thoughts on some players and things that I saw, some things that I'm thinking about. Um, uh, obviously, we won that game. Um, yeah, we're going to beat some sorry teams. Nothing really too much to worry about in terms of, of hurting our position and keeping our top three pick. That's just the nature of, of the game. We're, gonna, we're better than some teams on some nights, unfortunately. Um, and it's better to talk about games when we win um, than those that we lose and we suck, right? Um, but last night, um, Lou Williams was playing, was balling. Lou Williams is an interesting player because he's a bona fide scorer in this league. He showed that over the last 10 years, right? He's been in the league now 10 or 11 years. And we're paying him $7 million a year over three years or $7 million, $20, $21 million over three years. So $7 million a year, something like that, which is good value for him as, a, as like a six man or someone off the bench. The question is, is he... Does he have high value for us where we can put him, package him up in a trade? Because is Lou Williams what we need at this current moment in, in, in a rebuilding process? Uh, he's definitely valuable on a team like the Clippers or Ca uh, Cavaliers or San Antonio because he's a bona fide scorer, can help someone off a bench, can help take a team, propel a team to a championship level. But a real re rebuilding team, he's only going to take shots away from players and developing players right and we're going to lose a lot of games and so he's an interesting thing where he might be valuable enough right now where we can package him up to a team that may be looking for to get over that hump to get to the playoffs and we might get a be able to get a pick out of that so that's something to think about um, but he's a really good player um Lou Williams I like him um uh Jordan Clarkson balling right consistent love uh Jordan Clarkson's offensive game I mean his skill level each and every game is so impressive. Um, it, it is just really impressive. And, you know, I'm looking at him. I'm watching the replay of the game. And then I look at and I see all these articles about all these trade rumors possibly coming up. The issue with Jordan Clarkson and why there are so many trade rumors is because people are questioning whether or not we should keep him or because his value is so high, should we trade him before we have to pay him, like, 15 to 20 million dollars a year because he's striving towards that max he's striving he's striving towards that all-star level pay which is around 15 million 16 17 18 million dollars a year uh down the road obviously we have his they say we have his is it his his gilbert arenas rights or whatever it is or bird rights i don't know what it is but we can we get to pay him there's a cap on his 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 amount that we pay him so we can pay him like five million or six million dollars a year over over the next two years or something like that and then he becomes a restricted free agent so somebody's going to offer him an offer sheet some big money and the lakers will have to match that or you know let him go um so there's some situation there but a lot of people are saying some some cool things on twitter like it's way too early right now in my opinion to trade jordan clarkson because he is, uh, he is, I mean, he's obviously propelling offensively and his game is just rising. So it's like, maybe he is worth it, you know? Maybe he is worth that all, he's gonna be an all-star. He's propelling to an all-star type level play and he's so consistent, maybe he is worth the 16, 17, 18 million dollars a year. And that's what we need, pairing him up with D'Angelo Russell. Also, he's starting to learn D'Angelo Russell's passes. He's starting to cut more, and him and D'Angelo Russell are starting to work well together. So I like that. So Jordan Clark is an interesting thing. I hate to see those uh, those trade rumors out there because I'm really starting to like, and really I think Jordan Clarkson can be a long-time Laker and a valuable piece to to our our process rebuilding. And he's 23. He's a little bit mature, but he, he's still young enough to 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 where he has a long career, and he you know he looks like a really good player. Um, D'Angelo Russell finally. I want to talk about him. Bad game he had yesterday. The thing about D'Angelo Russell um, is a few things. One, he's shooting a lot, and it's it's coming. It's it's seeming that he's having these offensive games where he's shooting so much. He's having a poor shooting game, even when he has good games. Like the other night, he scored 16 points and six rebounds. He had he shot seven for 17. Yesterday, he shot three for 14. The thing is, D'Angelo Russell is becoming to be a shooter, right? Shooters will have inconsistent nights because if you're a shooter you're taking a, a high percentage shot from deep from mid-range or whatnot he needs to learn how to get to the rim attack the basket to get more high percentage shots okay that's one secondly he needs to stop with these 
these YouTube mixtape playground passes, right? Because that's only going to, he's going to, he's doing so many turnovers when he tries these things. And he needs to understand that he makes these passes, but he needs to understand who he's passing it to and when. Because a lot of these players like Roy Hibbert or whatnot, they might not be in position to get these passes or they might not have the hands to, to receive these passes. And it, it, it's, he's passing the ball somewhat, but it's not in the right time or to the right player, the right offensive player. And, and it looks bad sometimes when he turns the ball over, is giving more ammo to Byron Scott to take him out. Also, it's not what we need. We don't need him to be flashy, okay? That's for YouTube mixtapes. That's for high school players. Yes, he is young and he still has that mentality, that YouTube mixtape uh, mentality, but that's not what, that's white chocolate stuff. That's not, that's not what propels players to all-star level. What propels levels, um, players to all-star level mentality is consistency, fundamentals, and being efficient. Really scoring the ball, getting to the rim, uh, being efficient for, for your team, and, and just doing the fundamental stuff that, that helps get team to win games and get them to the playoffs. All this flashiness and doing this stuff, that's for the playground and high school stuff. That stuff don't cut it when it gets down to crunch time in an NBA game. So he needs to chill out on that. And he needs to just, he's good enough to just do the fundamentals and be really good and score 16, 17 points a game. And if he gets his offensive game rolling and get more high efficient shots and tack the rim, the assist will come naturally. Look at like um, like a like a um, Russell Westbrook. He's an offensive player, but he has the like more assist than Rubio or 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 CP3 because he he once he gets his offensive game going, the assist will come easy. Everyone's gonna attack him, and he's gonna leave so many people open. So that's what D'Angelo Russell needs to do first. He needs to get his offensive game down by being uh, consistent fundamentally sound um, and attack the rim more and then the assist will come as it goes don't just sit back trying to make those those little curvy you know playground mixtape youtube passes and, and and try to wow people we don't need that in the nba so those are my thoughts on the game that i saw yesterday um let me know your thoughts hit me up in the comments below uh we beat philly what well, we play the suns tomorrow night and sunday um we'll see how that goes but hit me up in the comments below subscribe to my youtube channel and as always, hit me up on Twitter at Mike Sports LA. We'll talk soon, guys. Thanks. Peace.